I got a I got a nice fish on right here, Carl. Hey, welcome to the next episode of Fire Island Catch and Cook. It is November, and it's actually a beautiful day. Where uh, Carl and I, my cousin, who you Go may on. I think you've seen in another video before. Yes. Um, we're getting on Dawn Patrol this morning. So we got stripers. They're actually in the bay. Um, you know, maybe we'll pop outside. We'll see what happens. But either way, we're going out. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone fishing. Things have been so crazy between work and personal life. But I'm happy to get out there and, and get some content. And uh, yeah, I mean, housekeeping items. We got some hot sauce for sale on the website now. Merch is still up there. Sweatshirts, long sleeve tees, UV shirts, which are also sweat wicking and good for hunting. Um, that's about it. Let's get some action. Let's do it. See you out there. I'm gonna get the net just in case. Carl hooked up again. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Hell yeah. yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good job, brother. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got a 28 incher, bro. Yeah. That's a keeper. All right, I'm going to. Bleed this guy out real quick so we can cook him up later. Let's go catch some more fish. Feels like a nice fish. Oh, yep, you think that. Nice. Yeah, he's two inches short. Go. 
I got a I got a nice fish on right here, Carl. You got the net? That white and green gummy, baby. How oh, we? Got him? Yeah. Oh, let's make sure he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Yeah, yeah, he's a work. keeper. He's a keeper. Let's go. Let's go. Clean Let's get him. Wait, wait, Yeah, baby. Everyone's tight. 28 and a half inches. 28 and a half inches, baby. Woo! Clean this guy out real quick. All right, so we're heading back in right now. Carl and I limited out. I think we got on like six fish today, uh, six or seven. I lost one because I was reaching for my net, uh, which sucked. And then we had a couple short fish. Carl lost one, but we got two keepers, so we have something to cook. We're gonna go back, and I'm going to do, a lot of people have been asking for something pretty simple for them to cook. And I really like um, a skin-on seared striped bass filet. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna also blister up some uh, shishito peppers because I think they're a really good um, alternative to standard greens on the side. And uh, I'm gonna keep it really simple. So if everyone's getting out on the fall run, you can come home and, and cook this up pretty quick. You don't need any specialty equipment. Um, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see you back at the dock. I'm gonna fillet it up and we're gonna continue trolling these umbrella rigs back and see if we get on something, which at this point is all catch and release. But feels good to be out here. It's like almost 70 degrees out right now. It's November, doesn't get much better than that. So we'll see you back at the dock. All right, so we got our keepers here. And I've gone over this a bunch of times, so I'm just gonna fillet these up really quick. I'm gonna descale this fish because we're gonna be doing our sear on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and while the fish is whole, it's actually a lot easier to descale it. So you can see they're just kind of flying off when I'm running against the scales here. And I'm really, I'm only gonna do this for one fillet because that's what I need. Oh, just got me in the eye. That's what I need. Once you fillet the fish um, and you go to descale, it's just you don't have the same type of grip on the uh, as you do when the fish is whole. All right, so this this whole fish now is uh, is descaled on this side. So I'm gonna go through uh, the same way I show you how to fillet it every time. We're gonna start up by the head and we're gonna cut at an angle right here. And I'm just gonna work down this back line right here. All right, so we got fillet number one. This is the descale fillet. Oh, it just got me in the face. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a butterfish. They get those all sure. Looks like it's got a butterfish in its belly. That's a full ass butterfish. And it just just blasted my beard. Nice. Now we're gonna just cut this. Do a little finger hole. Put my thumb through it. All right, we got these portioned out. We'll see you guys back in the kitchen. Hey, welcome back to the FICC kitchen. And this meal is gonna be all about simplicity. So I have my scaled fillets right here. They look really good. I'm gonna do three of them. Felicia and I are gonna have them. Jack is gonna have a little bit. Get back, buddy. And then I have shishito peppers, which are really good um, as, a, as a kind of an alternative green 
to whatever you're eating, whether it's steak, fish, venison, duck, whatever. One out of 10 is hot, uh, which is kind of fun, kind of like uh, pepper roulette. I have lemon, Kerrygold butter, Malden uh, flake sea salt, pepper, and olive oil. And that is all we need for this, uh, for this whole recipe. So I'm gonna take these fillets. They're pretty much good, um, just as I filleted them back at the dock. And I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit. I see a piece right here that I can kind of just, I guess it has some of the belly in there. Jack really likes to eat that. So come here, buddy, sit. Low five. And these are pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna score them across like this. And I'm gonna score it right here. There we go. That's a good score. Good. In the middle. All right, so I scored all of the skin. And uh, for people that don't like skin, I suggest you try this because it's gonna get really crispy and um, it, it tastes really delicious. So now that everything is scored, I'm going to take the Malden Flake Sea Salt and I'm just gonna put it all over the skin right here. And I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm gonna take some pepper. And we're ready to go. We are going to garnish with lemon, but I'm also gonna use it while I'm cooking. So I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm gonna do some wedges. my finger and I have lemon juice in it and it stings so bad. That is all we need. I'm gonna get the flat top going. We're gonna throw this on the griddle and we're gonna have lunch in like five minutes. Our flat top is screaming hot now. So I'm gonna take these shishito peppers. I'm gonna throw them right on the grill and I'm gonna douse them in a little olive oil. Throw a little black pepper on there. And give it a nice sprinkle of some Malden flake salt. We're gonna cook these first because we want them to blister up and be really hot. So we always cook our greens and our vegetables um, before we start cooking our protein. That way everything's done and hot at the same time. Once I see that one side of the shishitos is blistered, I know that I can throw my protein on. So I'm just gonna kind of mix these around and we're gonna keep these in the background. Just, you know, you can't really overcook these things. So as they blister, um, just keep keep cooking them up. Then I'm gonna take the other side of my flat top and I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil down. We're gonna start this dish with olive oil. We're not going to start it with butter, but as it cooks skin side down, I'm gonna throw a little butter under there. If you start with butter, the butter's gonna burn. It's gonna blacken this a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take these fillets and I'm gonna throw them skin side down. You can hear that nice sear right onto the, uh, the griddle. You can see right here, it's starting to get crispy. So what I wanna do is add a little bit of butter underneath. Now the butter is gonna help it crisp up a little bit underneath uh, where, where the skin connects to the grill. The majority of this cook is going to be skin side down because it protects the protein. So when I th see it about three quarters of the way cooked and uh, that skin is nice and crispy, I'm gonna then flip it over just to finish off the other side and then we're gonna eat it skin side up. So we're at about four and a half minutes, skin side down. We put our butter underneath there. It's looking really nice. I mean, this is just super crispy. So I'm going to now flip over the fillets. Yeah, that looks amazing. I'm gonna take some more uh, lemon here.
These shishitos look amazing. I'm gonna throw them right on to the cutting board. Nice. Parsley. All right, after about a minute and a half, we are done. I'm gonna move these fillets. Look at how nice they look on the bottom. Right here. All right, and here's our finished product. We have our seared striped bass, our blistered shishito peppers. We got a little bit of lemon here, which we're gonna put right on top. And we have some fresh parsley from the garden that we're gonna put on there. We got Jack and Felicia, our favorite taste testers. Let's dig right into this. Felicia, I'm gonna put this over there. And let's see how the shishitos turned out. Perfect. Mm. I'm gonna cut into the fish and I'm gonna bring it up just so you can see how flaky and delicious that is. That's perfect. Nothing beats fresh caught. Fresh mm. caught from swimming around like two hours ago. And the skin is nice and crispy. For people who have never had skin on that's descaled. I really recommend it. It adds a really nice flavor profile to it and also texture. Butter and lemon. You really can't beat it. Jack likes it too. Jackie. Let's see. Sit. High five. Double high five. <laughs> wow. He must really want it. How was it, buddy? Tell everybody. How was it? Good? All right, well, deer season just opened. Uh, recently, I went out on my first trip. I didn't produce, but I learned a lot. My father-in-law took me out, my cousin Chris, and um, I'm really hoping to get some deer content soon, get on a nice buck. I have some really good recipes for venison. Waterfowl season um, is also about to kick off, so we have a lot in store. Again, I apologize I don't put out more content. I am a very, very busy man, but I do really love doing this, so. Although my videos are not as frequent, um, stay tuned. Store is open. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave some uh, comments for me about what you'd like to see coming up. And uh, give us a follow on Instagram. And I'll see everybody soon. Take it easy.